Hello, my name is Paul Stryer, CEO and founder of SpeakGeekToMe.com. Welcome to this short video on changing the Cisco Unified Communications Manager server name to the frequently qualified domain name. More and more of the Cisco Jabber features are becoming dependent on the use of domain name services and fully qualified domain names for the naming and the access of services on the network. It has become mandatory to have a very well planned out naming convention and functioning DNS system within the corporate network and outside the corporate network. Also, the use of SRV records have become commonplace in the UC network to reduce the need for end users and end user devices to know the address of their services. In this lab, you will get an over-the-shoulder look at how to change the Cisco Unified Communications Manager system server name from a hostname or IP address to a fully qualified domain name. This lab topology represents how our lab is built for this video. Please stop the video and restart it when you are done observing the lab topology. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a remote session open to the internal Active Directory server. I have chose this server only because my Firefox has many favorites already set up to all of my servers. It is obviously not best practice to use your Active Directory server as your jump box into the network. Opening Firefox, I will navigate to my Communications Manager Admin web page and log in. Next, I will navigate to System and Server. Click Find to find your server addresses. Notice that both of my servers are host names only. I will click on the first host name, edit the host name or IP address to the fully qualified domain name, and click Save. If you are using certificates, you will have to replace the certificates with a new certificate after generating a CSR. Click Go on the Back to Find list, select the next server, edit the name to a fully qualified domain name and click Save. You will do this for each of the servers in your cluster. Click OK to confirm. Click Go on the Back to Find list and confirm that all servers are now fully qualified domain names. Thank you for watching this short video, and as always, thank you for your continued support of SpeakGeekToMe.com.